Well, hello. Um, had a pretty good weekend. I uh, went to a party. Uh, Jocelyn's friend uh, from college got married, and we went to uh, up north near Sacramento. Went to a, a party. Went to the wedding. Um, went to the reception, and it was a big party. It was just a really big party. It was lots of fun and and. Uh, just a, a really great time. Um, we stayed at a hotel that was right right down the road from um, the house where the wedding was held in this backyard right on the river and it was really gorgeous. There was this like panoramic view, wide panoramic view of white clouds and it was just really gorgeous and um, it was a Jewish wedding and it was funny and wonderful and, and uh, it was great meeting you know all these people and, and uh, it was great to see have Jocelyn see her friends from college and whatnot. Um, I really did have a good time. We drank a shitload of alcohol and got absolutely smashed. I was <laughs> we were dancing to Oingo Boingo Dead Man's party and um, God, you know, the Humpty Dance, and we were there playing all kinds of uh, classics and having a great time. And, uh, I mean, the only thing the party was really missing was hooker, hookers and blow, really. Um, it was a great time. I mean, we, we drank, we went back to the party. The, most people were most people were staying on the third floor. Jocelyn and I were on the second. We went upstairs, partied with some of her friends from college days, and um, met a lot of really cool people. It was really fun, and um, I drank so much. I I had to slow down, and then I I was able to slow down and um, started getting that. Oh no, I'm gonna vomit, you know, if I don't slow down feeling. But um, I was able to slow down. Went to bed and had the alcohol, the shitty alcohol sleep. Like you know, you're barely asleep. You're edgy. You know, you, you, you're on the verge of having, like, some crazy dream, and you do have crazy dreams, and then you're kind of, like, waking up, and you're, like, half asleep, and it's just crazy alcohol. always happens when I drink, and I'll think, I don't know if I don't throw up, I'm going to, something else is going to happen. Like, I went to, I went to sleep and uh, woke up an hour and a half after going to sleep. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to vomit. And I went to the bathroom and um, felt much better after that. But um, just really thought I was going to get sick. And I didn't get sick. And today I've been feeling kind of groggy, very irritable. The TV broke. I, I broke the cable connector on the TV. And I watched Dirty Harry, you know, finally got around to that classic. It was all right, you know, kind of dated. <laughs> Clint is, Clint, Clint's a character. And, you know, yeah, the film's dated for sure, but it was fun. It's was all good fun. It kind of makes me want to see even Sudden Impact, which I hear is Sudden Impact, the, the, the sequel. And, um, got to get my cable back. I don't have TV at all now because I broke my cable. So, I don't know. Either... Somebody can fix this TV, or I have to get a new TV. And the the TV stand is also broken, and the TV is sagging. So I had to watch Dirty Harry in a rectangular two three five one widescreen panoramic sideways view. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel, you know, I just, I just got the alcohol blues today. I'm just like the normal um, agitated kind of uh, raw, irritable feeling. Um, tired feeling you get after a weekend of partying, um, but it was fun, it was fun, I felt like I was missing something, um, but I was really getting, I got really angry at myself, I, I lost the remote control to the TV set, and I said they're staying on the chair now, I was shouting at myself, I couldn't stop yelling at myself, so pissed off, um, finally I found it in a drawer, of course, um, the apartment's a mess. We've got to get that cleaned up. But, um, 
other than that, everything's hunky-dory. Okay. Thanks.